Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about an award-winning bottle and one of my favorite bourbon out there. It's a Old Elk uh, Cigar Cut. It was released earlier last year. This special bottle is actually turned out one of my favorite bottles that I've tried. I actually killed one bottle and this is my second one and I have it still uh, sealed. And I thought about posting reviews for you guys. I highly recommend it. Uh, one of the best one out there. So let's get started. All right, this is uh, this bottle. Actually, it's aged six years, and it's extra about two years uh, in different barrels. It's got the sherry, port, uh, cognac, and armagnac barrels finished. So it has like sherry cask finish for 1.5 years, Armani cask finish for 1.2, port cask 3 to 8 months, and cognac cask uh, for uh, 3 to 6 uh, months. This bottle followed a uh, cask strength is 55.3%, uh, so it's got a kick to it. So let's see. Alright. Got a really nice color to it. Nice dark to a golden color to it. Let's see, I like to really nice color to it, as you see. It has very very light notes, but it's very sweet. It's very like kind of gravy herbal, I want to say. Lots of vanilla, lots of like uh, dark chocolate notes to it. Definitely, I can see the cognac is uh, playing a good role over there. Yep, lots of caramel too on the back end. All right, let's see the palette. Cheers. Wow, incredibly smooth. It's very velvet. It doesn't even drink like it's proof. 55.3% drinkable, regular, like 80 proof. It's very spicy, kinda. I mean, obviously, from the cognac and the armagnac, gets that. Uh, gets that element from there as well I see like uh, sweet bacon spices if that makes sense because it's not a very sweet one it's not like uh, what the nose shows to me it has very like a chocolatey dark chocolate notes to it very nutty kind of medium to slightly more than medium finish to it it's not too long but kind of stays in your mouth for a little bit let's see one more time Uh, definitely after it took some air it become way softer but I still got some uh, little bit of heat one more time but not really light vanilla light caramel a dried fruit notes undertone spice and oak uh, finish to it incredible one very very complex definitely the sherry and the cognac and the port uh, along with um, with the Armaniac are playing a good role over there. It's a well-balanced one, very complex whiskey, a blend very good with cigar, definitely has. 